Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate working at Microsoft. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can manage your Azure virtual machines directly from Cloud Shell. Now here we are in the Azure portal where I have deployed a Linux virtual machine. And since I want to manage that virtual machine, I want to do a SSH connection. So I simply go to the virtual machine and I click on connect and this will give me basically the connection information for my SSH connection. I copy paste that and then I would usually use that in my local SSH client. However, sometimes I don't have one installed or the connection um, doesn't allow me really to do a SSH connection. So Cloud Shell already has a SSH client installed. So I can use SSH directly from Cloud Shell. I just paste that here, um, accept that and enter my password. By the way, this also works with certificates as well. And then you can see here, I'm now connected to my Ubuntu virtual machine. And if I quickly list that here, you can see um, which version I'm running here. And then you can also see that I'm here running a Ubuntu virtual machine with the Azure optimized uh, kernel here on Azure. Now I can also access that virtual machine again, that SSH connection. And then this is very interesting. Now I set it everything up, right? I created the network security groups for SSH and things like that. However, what if I haven't set that up, especially for Windows virtual machines where I want to use PowerShell remoting. So we have there some, a PowerShell module called PS Cloud Shell Utility. And we have some very interesting commandlets here. For example, uh, enable AC VM PS remoting, or also enter AC VM or invoke AC VM command. So with enable AC VM PS remoting, it allows me basically to enable the VM for remoting. So I'm gonna do that right now for a specific virtual machine. So I'm gonna say, okay, name of the virtual machine. The resource group, the virtual machine is in. Then I'm gonna say which protocol I want to use. Obviously I wanna use HTTPS and then I can select the OS type and I can choose, is this a Linux virtual machine or a Windows virtual machine? Since this is a Windows virtual machine, um, I type Windows and I could now run that and it would open up the network security groups. It would also configure my Windows configuration. Since that takes a couple of minutes, I already have done that. So let me quickly store my credentials here uh, so I can show you the remoting uh, experience. So username, password, and then I can do, for example, a invoke ACVM command. This is the commandlet to send a specific command to that VM using PowerShell remoting. So now VM name, resource group name, and then I say script plot, and then I send a specific command. Now let's say get service and list me all the services starting with win. And then obviously I need to add the credentials and just run that command. This will take now a couple of seconds because it does a remote connection to the specific virtual machine, but then it will return all the services um, starting with um, the win. Now, if I wanna have a little bit more of a interactive experience, I can use the enter ACVM commandlet. And again, same procedure. I give it the name of the virtual machine and then the resource group name where the virtual machine is in. And obviously I also will need my credentials here again. And if I fire that command, we'll see it now creates a remoting connection to that virtual machine. And now I can do PowerShell remoting with that Windows virtual machine. So if I go, for example, back to the C drive here, you can see I can browse through the file system I can list all, all the stuff. There's my Windows folder. I can also use one of my favorite commandlets called chin, which is the alias for get computer info, which let, um, gives me all the information 
um, about the operating system about that specific system um, so you can see here I'm running a Windows Server 2016 data center edition uh, you can see the install date and, and much much more information I can also exit that again uh, um, and I'm back to my uh, cloud shell so I hope this gives you a quick overview how you can manage your Azure virtual machines directly from cloud shell